Hello, OM Business Math students. Welcome to Online Business Math with um, Ms. Fields and myself, Ms. Shepard. The purpose of this video is to explain some things as we, we are gonna be moving forward here. Online learning, which is new to all of us. Um, I'll tell you about some of our expectations, how work is gonna get done, and also how you're gonna submit some of your homework. First of all, ways to reach one of us. Obviously, you can reach us by email. Ms. Field and I will email you back as quickly as we possibly can. Again, life's happening as we're doing this all, so we're trying to work with you, and as soon as you email us, we can email you back. Most of the time, between 8 and 3 is going to be the best time that we're going to email you back, but even after that, we can get some emails out to you. Secondly, by phone, we are putting our phone numbers out there, but we do ask that you call us only between eight and three. Um, again, if we don't answer right away, please leave a message and we will call you back. Uh, both of us, our, our information is on your assignment calendar that Ms. Fields emailed you today, or you can also or should have or will be picking up in your folder that we left at the school for you to pick up. You can pick those up Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday of this week. Hopefully you've already watched this video and hopefully you already have. So um, this online learning, again, is learning is new for all of us, but please be patient with us. Contact us if you have questions and we will do our best to help you and to, to correct any problems we have moving forward. Expectations. Um, it is expected that, um, that you be present in your learning and that you're doing what you need to do to be successful. With that, is it going to be live classes? The answer to that is no. Um, but I will be putting out YouTube videos introducing the new material going over your homework, just like I would in school, and reading, I'll be reading the quizzes and the exams. It's helpful for you to listen to those because I can give you some helpful hints as we go along. Um, after the video lessons, please comment, or any of the videos that you watch, including this one, comment below, and I can give you a participation grade. When you do that, put your name, um, like so-and-so watched or whatever you want to put, but please make them appropriate comments. Uh, let's see what else. Um, the assignment sheets or the assignment calendar, as I called it, uh, you will be keeping track of all your assignments on. Make sure you look at these dates every day, which gives you an idea of what you need to do for that day and what should be submitted. Also, it also tells you what when the videos will be coming out. They may have already come out before that, but they will definitely be up by that date. So with the calendars, and I'll get into more of this later, unfortunately, as we were trying to do this quickly, because we got two hours to work on and put this material together, I mistakenly did one page instead of front back. So you are missing, unfortunately, two of the pages with dates on them. However, on April 13th, which is today, Monday, by the way, Ms. Field e emailed you the assignment calendar. Again, it looks like that, and it'll have five pages. The one that you got in your folder only has three, so I apologize for that, but please make sure you print out that new one or save it to your Word documents so that you know when things are due and what you should be doing on a daily basis.
Okay, so on that assignment sheet or assignment calendar, uh, the first this week, um, April 13th to the 17th, you're going to be working on the vacation project that you should have already started working on. It will be due on April 17th. On the 17th, uh, you will be expected to submit that. Next week, you're gonna be finishing up your planning and pr uh, party project. And that again will be due on April 24th and submitted. After these two weeks, then we're gonna start into the new material. So when we get to chapter six, you'll be doing most weeks, you'll have two assignments and then a quiz on Friday with the assignments being due Tuesday and Thursday. So that'll happen for two weeks. After those first two weeks for chapter six, you'll get a week where we're gonna be doing the test, the exam. After that, you'll start chapter seven. And again, we'll go back to the two weeks, two, sorry, two days of assignments, Tuesday, Wednesday, or Tuesday, Thursday, and then Friday, the quiz. After those two chapters are complete, you'll have another project. And then finally, in the very end of the year, you'll have a final review or final a review for your final exam and then the final exam. All this material is in the folder that you received at the school. Now, so even if we don't, hopefully we're going back and when we go back, then bring the folder in and you'll have all the material for the rest of the year. So please don't get rid of it. <clears throat> that will be it. And after we get through it, all those things, that'll be end of this course. So, and you'll have um, all the videos to help you to get through it, the material. I cannot stress enough until we get back, keep checking your emails and assignment sheet, your assignment calendar, do the things as, as you see on the assignment calendar because that'll help you keep on track. Work expectations. The amount of work is probably a little less than if we were in school, but there are there is work, there are assignments, and there are new assignments and new uh, material for you to complete. Now we feel that these are important, very important life, uh, life uh, skills that you need to know. Chapter six on um, buying and renting a home. Chapter seven is on insurance, important information. Again, log on to your YouTube videos, put comments so you can get participation and credit. So it's kind of like a little way to, for us to check and see that you're um, checked in during the day or attendance, if you will. Assignments will be due on the day that your assignment calendar is stating. However, again, I made a mistake on uh, the one you got in your folder only has three pages. They should be front back. You should have five pages of dates. So again, please print out the one that Miss Field uh, gave to you on April 13th. Either print it out or save it on your computer so that you can keep following along with the calendar dates. And it explains a lot more. And I'll be explaining things on the videos too. Um, if you lost that email or you deleted it and you need a new assignment calendar, just email one of us and we will get it to you. Expectations again are that you check your emails daily. Make sure you're watching these YouTube videos. Do some business math every day. Don't leave it five minutes before the assignment is due. There is a way, <coughs> excuse me, that you can text me the assignments themselves, not the projects. Projects need to be emailed because they're longer. But like assignments, if you wanna take a video, or sorry, excuse me, a picture of them and send it to, by text to me, that's more than acceptable. As long as I can see your work and see that what you've done and your answer. Um, submit. You can submit things before they are due before the assignment is due, please feel free to do that. 
um, backing up to texting me the information, please make sure you only do that between eight and five, or sorry, eight and, yeah, eight a.m. to 5 p.m. <clears throat> Key is to get into a good routine. Do things on time. Do them as your assignment calendar is stating for you to do things. I say that in class all the time. Don't get behind. If you get behind, it makes things difficult. Stay on task. I know it's going to be hard to balance out between business math and all your other courses, but keep on track, top of things. And if you have difficulties, let Ms. Field or I know so that we can adjust. We are in communication all the time by texting and email so and calls. So if you call her or you text her or you email her or whatever, you, she can relay that message to me also. Um, I know things are different in each class and their systems are different. So and the expectations are different. So again, even if it's not business math and you're concerned about a different class, email your teacher. They will help you. Um, and it also help us because if you're confused, probably some of the other kids are too. So I'm going to wrap up this video. Watch for your emails. Subscribe to the channel, turn on your notification. That way it's easier for you to keep track. We will change stuff up if it's not working. Don't forget to comment below with your name so you can get participation for this one. Also, don't forget April 17th, this Friday, your business math vacation project is due. Uh, needs to be turned in. Be safe, stay home. I hopefully you're all well. And we miss you very much, and we can't wait to get back in class and have a wonderful day. Bye.